All right, everybody. I have just double and triple, triple checked everything here. All is looking well. I've got my rectifier in, like I said. I'm going to check some voltages. Uh, I've been told by some of the guys that generally they don't worry about a uh, bulb, you know, cur bulb current limiter, which I do have, or a um, uh, ramp up, you know, with a variac, which I also have, unless they're actually facing. Uh, an unknown amp that's old stuff. Well, this is a brand new Transformers now and brand new everything, so I shouldn't have that problem. So I am going to, sorry, I've got my cord wrapped up in my multimeter and stuff here. I'm gonna get this guy plugged in. Um, I do need to get, actually just realized I need to put the bulb in and the jewel. I've got my jewel here. And I don't know where my bulb is. I probably have to find that real quick. Um, but, uh, and then we'll be doing our first power on. I think I've got some bulbs in the room. So I'm going to stop recording for just a minute and try this again. All right, so we're going to try this now. I've got it plugged in, but I don't have, I should have no voltage going through the main part of the amp because I have just connected the power, but not the power switch. So, uh, one of the things I'm going to want to do generally for now is I'm, I'm just going to, uh, touch this. I actually, no, I'm going to switch this. It's very bad form to go putting your fingers inside of an, both hands inside of a powered on amp. So I'm trying to show you right behavior here. We basically want to clip my ground to the chassis. I am on AC volts right now because I just want to see if I'm getting the AC volts I would expect to see at the input here. And I do have 120 volts right there. All right, so now I'm going to turn it on and we'll see what we get. First power on. 120 volts there. I have 385 volts. I have 385 volts. I didn't like that sound. I hope that was just the rectifier warming. It sounded like a crack. I'm hearing more cracks. So 385 there. Let's switch to DC volts and see what I get here. Oh, well, the rectifier seems to be working. I've got 495 volts. Of course, when I have the tubes in, that will drop down a lot. Uh, so I'm going to shut this off because you don't want to run those capacitors at that high of voltage without tubes loaded. I didn't see anything smoking though, so that's a good sign. What I think I'll do right now is put in my output tubes so that they will draw a little bit of current and uh, that will allow me to now guarantee I didn't see anything popping or smoking so I didn't blow any tubes out and it did charge up and have power so uh, I got my two these are kind of an unmatched set that just came with that amp actually I may need to adjust this a little bit because that is right in the middle of the where the tube needs to go Just slide that this way a little bit. Uh, and because I'm going to be putting output tubes in, I also am going to want to hook up a dummy load. So before I continue the next step, I will hook up the other tube, but I won't power it on until I get a dummy load in. Where did I just set that tube that I had? There it is. So I've got, this is a Sylvania and an RCA that just happened to be in the uh, amp that I got. So All right, so those are seated. Let me get my... Um, well, you know what? I can actually just hook up my regular speaker here because we're not going to be putting anything into the amp and that way we've just got an active speaker load and it'll possibly hum and buzz a little bit, but that might be a sign I've got to shut it off too. All right. So we're going to go back to power on. Here we go. Wow. I've got 500 volts there. That seems kind of high. 487. Three forty. Oh, well, the tubes are conducting now. Three forty. Okay. So those tubes had to warm for a minute, but now they've dropped down to three seventy. I've got three forty-one, and of course I get a little output. That's a good sign, though. Three thirty-seven. Three thirty-seven. Three thirty-seven. Three thirty-seven. Nothing's dropping because there's no tubes. All right, I'm going to get my two preamp tubes in. 
that's a sign I had the sound, which means I have a working amp as well. So what I'm going to do right now is take a quick break to go get a guitar and get my two preamp tubes plugged in, and then we'll give that another roll. Okay, here it goes. My second power, or third power up, I guess I should say, with all of my tubes in. One hand goes in my pocket, as you can see. Checking voltages. And we're drawing current. 200. One, oh yeah, I'm hearing the hum of the guitar as well. That means the guitar is working. And there we have it. Look at that. Okay, so I'm not playing it too loud on purpose here. I've got a little bit of hum, but I'm also staying really close. But... Alright, so that input is working. Let's check the other one. This is the tone of Mac. Well, it works. All right, so what I'm gonna do at this point, really, I hear a little bit of noise, but I don't know for sure. I'll chopstick around a little bit. In fact, I'll set my guitar down and we'll chopstick. It might go away when I move the guitar away, though, because I'm standing right next to the open. Oh, that's a crappy chord, by the way, not the amp at all. But, yeah, it looks like that's good. All right, so I'm going to just play it for a little bit, but I don't need to play it on here because the mic won't pick it up very well. It'll sound kind of crummy, but we'll get you a demo now because the amp works. Awesome. I'm stoked. First power up, no smoke, no nothing. Thanks, guys. We'll talk to you later. All right, hello everybody. The uh, Tweedledee Deluxe, she is done. Uh, if you want to look right here, I've got the three knobs are the volume for the first input, the volume for the second inputs, plural, and then this one is the tone. Oh boy, I just think I said that backwards, sorry. This is the volume for the first input, this is the volume for the, these other two inputs, and then this is the tone. Uh, I've got the tone up almost max. I got these other two up at full, but I have a volume pedal and I'm dialing it back a little bit. Um, so we're gonna give you a little bit of playing on the Strat just clean and then I will put a little bit of reverb into it and then I will, uh, well actually I'm gonna, I'm gonna play it clean on the lower volume, then I'm gonna bring in um, the heavy, like max volume clean on the Strat to give you a sense of both of those clean with no effect. And then I'll put a little reverb because I always think it sounds a lot better with a little reverb. Kind of repeat that process. Then I'm gonna switch over to the SG and do the same kind of thing. So I'm trying to get my demos a little better. I'd love some suggestions, other things I should do. I'm not a, a guitar slinger as they say. I've even had some people suggest that, but I also, I don't know of anybody that has free time to come over and jam with me, but I think I play enough for people to get a sense of it. So I'll try and play a few chords, a little a little bit of a few licks, and then go from there. So uh, once I start playing, I'm going to try not to talk. I keep forgetting and start talking in the middle, and because the microphone on this is only sensitive enough to handle having to wait a few seconds in between the loud volume spikes of the guitar, it will kind of lose some of what I said. So I have to remember to either stop for a second before I talk or just not do it too much. So here we go. Uh-uh. 
right, so I don't have the volume at absolute max, and this is one of the other inputs, so let me try and give you this one here as well. is also a little hotter. This is only 33k versus 68k, so it had on the resistors on the input. Now louder. does have this spot where, uh, like a classic great tube amp like this is, you can play it softly and get clean and then if you start digging in it really crunches in as well. So I might not quite be there but we'll see. seems to go out every time I'm playing. Oh, a miracle, it's still in tune. Right. It's getting crunchy already because it's just the, the heavier pickups. But. Um, 
I absolutely love the sound of this thing. Um, I balanced the phase inverter after we did. I did the first little quick demo when I powered it on. Um, I'm. I've actually probably going to try and do a short video at some point after this is just more of a general how to balance a phase inverter if you set that up. Just because somebody gave me that suggestion, it was a, I thought it was a pretty good idea. But it's related to any amp that allows you to balance the phase inverter, understanding how to do that. So that'll be a separate video. But uh, I really had a lot of fun building this, guys. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching the series. Uh, let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs up. Uh, support us on Patreon or any other kinds of support you can give us is great. And we appreciate the comments we're getting on the, in the comment section as well. Uh, thanks a lot. Have a great day. Thanks. Bye.